So I decided to do uh, another video on gold filled watch band refining. But this time I wanted to give everyone an idea. A lot of times when you look on eBay or uh, garage sales, they're not selling just the tops like what I did in my last video. They're selling the whole bands. So what I have here is strictly bands. I have exactly 400 grams. I have 150 grams in this bag, 150 grams in this bag, and 100 grams in this bag. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna take these bands apart, and I'm gonna take all the tops off of them. And then I'm gonna weigh it out and see how much weight and just tops I have. Before I already depopulated them, so it was hard to tell. But let me zoom in again, and I'll show you what I was trying to show you before. So, if you see right there where those two little tabs are, you get a little pair of, my magnet's stuck. You get a little pair of cutters. You go in, just like this, and you pry them off. And these are the caps. So out of 400 grams in watch bands, we're gonna see how much gold caps we actually have. The watch bands are mainly stainless steel, so these are pretty much worthless. The caps are what actually have the gold plated, uh, not gold plated, gold filled material on top. So I'll be back when I get a weight on them. This is probably gonna take me a few hours, but I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this now. Just to give you an idea, I took apart one band. Now let's just weigh the tops from just one band. So we are at about six and a half grams. Take this off. The reason it's negative 14.85 grams is that's the weight of this lid. So I teared it out. And this scale is really accurate. Um, I can post the link if anyone's interested. I bought this off Amazon and it's a great little scale. And now the weight of the plain band with all the gold filled tops is exactly 20 and a half. So that's actually more material than I thought you'd get out of one band. So we'll see where I'm at whenever I'm finished with this. Um, and if anyone thinks that this is enjoyable or fun, it's very, very, very tedious. It's a lot of work and your hands really start to get sore after a while taking these apart. So when you buy, when you see these big auctions for, you know, a thousand plus grams of watch bands, you're, you're in for a lot of fun because it's a lot of work. All right, it's the very next day. Out of 400 grams of gold-filled watch bands off eBay, we have exactly 114.5 grams of tops. Uh, minus this little Ziploc uh, bag. The bag weighs about 2 grams. So that's going to leave us with, I think I wrote down 112, yeah. So this is 112 grams of gold-filled tops out of 400 grams of gold-filled watch bands. So the first thing we're going to do is just like before, I'm going to put it in a little jar. These were really, really dirty. Uh, my hands are absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to fill it in this little jar. Then we are going to add a little bit of water to it, a little bit of hot water, just like before. I would do this several times, but I'm just going to show you how disgusting. Now, if you have an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner, you could fill that with even just plain hot water. I don't think you really need any of the cleaning solution. We're just trying to get all the organics off of this, all like the dead skin and all the disgusting grossness. But after just a, a few seconds of shaking it, I'll show you. I mean, there's huge chunks of just 
so I mean you can see so I would wash that out a couple times after you're done rinsing this out I'm gonna put this in a bake dish like before and I'm gonna put it in my little oven I'm gonna put it at a thousand degrees in a little uh, melt dish for one hour to really clean up any of the extra organics or things like that um, this is a step I try not to skip because if you do you're going to have all that extra gunk in the gold, and it's just not going to come out that clear. It's so also, I did some quick basic math just to get an idea on what we're looking into. So pretty much, I mean, I know my handwriting is pretty messy, but we have exactly 112 grams of gold-filled watch tops. Each gram of gold-filled material takes 3.5 milliliters of nitric acid. So that gives you a good idea that we're gonna need approximately 392 milliliters of nitric acid. Um, nitric acid's not cheap, so you don't wanna buy a small container and then in the middle of your processing, you run out. I try to buy it in gallon jugs. I recommend if you, if you get into this hobby, buy it in bulk. Each gram of gold-filled material out of our last batch gave us exactly uh, a little more than a tenth of a gram of pure gold. That was a little bit of a sloppy batch, so I think we can get better than that this time. Last batch, I had 100 grams of gold-filled tops, and that got us 1.23 grams of pure gold. This batch, we have 112 grams, which I'm estimating about 1.37 grams. Um, I think we're going to get a little bit better than that. Like I said, I have some ideas on, on how to improve our yield from this batch. So again, just rinse them out really, really good. I want to rinse this several more times, not just that one time. And then we're going to put it in the oven. We're going to bake it for about a thousand degrees. If you don't have an oven that can get that high, which a lot of you probably don't, I use a little propane torch and just quickly go over it until the gold gets red, but you don't want to melt the gold. You do not want it to alloy. You just want to heat it up pretty hot until it stops smoking and you get rid of all the organics. So I'll be back after I'm done incinerating these.